Sinead O'Connor's funeral cortege was watched by thousands of crying fans and attended by Sir Bob Geldof and Bono, as mourners gathered outside her former home to pay their final respects. Sinead O'Connor's funeral saw thousands of crying fans take to the streets with Sir Bob Geldof and U2 frontman Bono in attendance at the service. A hearse was filled with blue flowers while tearful mourners threw roses as her coffin passed through her hometown, hordes turned out in Bray, County Wicklow. Including Sinead's close musician friends Bob and Bono, with the Boomtown Rats star later joining the procession in a white taxi, as the star's body journeyed past the seafront, it was accompanied by a camper van playing Bob Marley's track. Natural mystic, and draped with LGBTQ and Rastafarian flags, the crowd erupted into cheers as the procession paused outside her former Montebello house, fans had waited outside for more than an hour for the cortege to drive past. Many were in floods of tears as her 1990 hit, Nothing Compares to You, was played through speakers, notable figures including Tawasich Leo Veradkar, members of The Edge, Damian Dempsey, and Hothouse Flower singer Liam O'Mahonlai were also present, Irish President Michael Higgins attended the private funeral and said in a statement that Sinead's music came from a person extracting an incredible pain, perhaps one too much to bear, dot, Sheikh Dr. Umar Al-Qadri. The chief imam at the Islamic Centre of Ireland led a Muslim funeral prayer at the private ceremony. In the eulogy, he said Sinead had suffered more than her share of hardship and adversity, adding, gifted with a voice that moved a generation of young people. Sinead's voice carried with it an undertone of hope, of finding one's way home, the Irish people have long found solace in song from the sufferings of this lower abode, and Sinead was no exception, and in sharing that solace, she brought joy to countless people the world over. Tributes have flooded the area since her death on July 26. Her heartbroken fans left floral wreaths, lit candles and wrote emotional letters detailing how much she meant to them. Several gatherings were also held across Dublin, Belfast and London and a large tribute was unveiled on a cliff close to Bray with Aira, Ireland, Love Sinead written in large white writing. Sinead's family had previously invited members of the public to line the streets, saying in a statement, Sinead loved living in Bray and the people in it. With this procession, her family would like to acknowledge the outpouring of love for her from the people of Co Wicklow and beyond, since she left last week, to go to another place. A counselor for the area said fans were grateful to the family for allowing them to say goodbye to the legendary Irish star, Erica Doyle, told BBC Breakfast, people are taking the opportunity to connect with her in some way. We need to mourn the Sinead of nothing compares, but, also, the Sinead who shone a light on difficult areas, she was controversial, but in the way when people say things that people aren't ready for, speaking truth to power, while Sinead spent a considerable portion of her life at her Montebello home, she moved back to London just weeks before her death, on July 26, she was found unresponsive in her new flat and pronounced dead at the scene.